and iron. Fabric that is soft to the touch because their heads are very tender after chemo and you want them to be comfortable. A rotary mat and cutter to cut out the patterns. If you don't have a rotary mat or cutter, you can just use a pencil to trace and cut with scissors. A pin cushion and pins. A seam ripper in case you make any mistakes. Different colors of threads that will match your fabric. A ruler to measure your pattern. Hot patterns, and the way I measured these is that I grabbed two bowls and I fit them around my head and one that fit my head and then one that was a little bit bigger. And then I traced it and then I went down the sides and measured eight and a quarter inches down. And then for the small across, I did nine and a half inches and the large 11 and three quarter inches. I cut my patterns out of some heavy poster board, but you can also just do paper and laminate it. Iron-on patches to decorate your hats. A sewing machine. But not least, bags to put your hats in. The first thing you're going to want to do is place your pattern down onto your fabric inside out and cut around the pattern. If you don't have a rotary cutter, or a mat, which is what I'm using here, you can use a pencil and trace around it onto the fabric and then use scissors to cut. After you have cut both of your patterns, you're going to take the fabric that you want on the outside and flip them over so the nice part or the part you want on the outside is on the inside. Then you're going to sew around the edge, but not the bottom. I'm gonna be using this black thread to sew because my fabric is mainly black. Once you have sewn around the edges, you're going to measure three inches from the bottom of the hat and fold it over. I pinned them in place just so it would stay with these pins. And you're going to pin all around the hat on both sides. Then I'm gonna take this bottom part of my sewing machine off just so I can wrap it around and you are going to fit it over the bottom part of the machine where the foot is and then start sewing the bottom part around. So as you can see, I have sewn the flap up and I did not sew both of the pieces of fabric together. As you can see, like I can still stick my hand through. So now what I'm going to do is just flip it inside out. So once I have um, folded the hat inside out, I'm going to roll over the flap that we sewed so there's a band around the hat and it gives it a nice clean look and this will help the hat fit snugly on their heads and keep their head warm. my fabric has a pattern I'm not going to add a patch but here are some patches that you can add but um, you can also add patches onto plain hats just to spice them up or you can leave them as they are <laughs> 